Hello and welcome to another FX Centrum daily market analysis. Um, for today, we'll go for our cross asset list. I will cover coffee market, uh, WTI, uh, USD 100, US 30, USDN, uh, pound dollar, euro dollar, dollar index, Bitcoin, gold market, and aluminium. Of course, I will use our FX Centrum uh, platform for that. And um, we will begin with the coffee market first. So, what we have here is, uh, is we, we had reaction from the previous swing low, which was a basically a minimum downside objective uh, based on the yesterday's uh, trading activity. So 193, let's say 80 mark. So we can see that the buyers uh, stepped in from that point and uh, we had a close near the high, but still coffee market is in a multi-day consolidation with the resistance at 205.70 and supported 193.80 mark. We can see here that we have a fresh bull cross on the uh, on the stochastic oscillator. Uh, still, slow line is sloping to the downside. So basically, this is um, still for me consolidation. Anything meaningful to the upside, I would like to see the break of 205.70 and hold above, because in that case there will be a chance for a retest of the middle Bollinger Band around 215.80 mark. The market. Um, let's say uh, trade lower and um, break 193.80 mark then there will be a chance and hold below that there'll be a chance for the drop towards the 182 mark let's take a look at the hourly time frame you can see market uh, there was a sell-off below the lower ball in japan and then there was a reaction back up it will have a full absorption or market will find sellers and then have more consolidation and so on we'll see so so far, we don't have confirmation for change in the trend dynamic. Still downside. Uh, trend is active, short term speaking, in the last 20 days. And we, mo we need more improvement structurally for any kind of reversal. Now, WTI is still in consolidation. We can see that Mark's trading around 78.7. We have resistance at 80.15, also middle of Bollinger Band in the daily time frame, and the pin bar low at 70. Six, I'd say it's 76.98 or 77 mark. Now, rate of change, uh, we can see that there was a flip to the downside, more like um, pretty much consolidation day, close in the middle. So this is not a spectacular sign of weakness. So consolidation is already happening for 10 days, but we have a downside environment. Watch like a lower highs and lower lows on a daily time frame. Another thing I want to point out is the. We have a plenty of events uh, that can really boost volatility uh, across uh, different markets. For example, here we can see we have a CPI year on year, CPI month on month in US and retail sales month on month. So this, this is a very important uh, event and uh, the volatility around the events can really, uh, can really increase. So uh, pay attention to that. And usually those kind of consolidations, uh, they're um, market is awaiting for the next um, important event for potential breakout. So, for example, WTI is a good example of that. So, we'll see if the retail sales and CPI from, from today will uh, will bring us a breakout on the WTI of this 10-day consultation. Now, on the US 100, what we can see is that slow line is sloping to the upside, but both slow and fast line are around 100 mark. And in this example, uh, there was attempt, as you can see here, there was a sell-off, but immediate rejection uh, yeah, on yesterday's event. So this was a basically a news environment. What I want to see in order for US 100 to trade lower, I want to see the market to break lower ball in Japan and hold below. So not just to break and reject like one bar and like this and reject or just test lower ball in Japan and reject. We need to break and hold. So far, we don't have that market sold off uh, there was a rejection and market is just trading sideways at this point now on the daily time frame we are really into the this cluster so this is a quite a big cluster from the march and april we can see many downside swings appear from this area around 18,300, 400 mark and uh, we will see how the market will react on today's event will the market break to the upside and hold or we have a potential rejection and some downside movement and correction to the downside. So we will see. 
definitely this event will increase volatility on um, uh, different markets. Yes, 30 position is more like a consolidation. There was uh, some rejection, but more like a consolidation at the last couple of days. And the uh, key swing high is at uh, 40,000 mark. We have also still the rate of change of divergence from this area here. And now the fast and slow line, there was some fresh bear cross around the 100 mark. There is a fresh bear cross. See the fast line is uh, crossing this uh, slow line and slow line is starting to, you know, go into the flat and uh, regime. So we will see if market can actually trade lower and do at least pull back. So if you see, for example, last 10 days or so, we had almost like eight days up and just a one down day reaction day, like from two days ago. So this is a quite extended market. My perspective that is very vulnerable for the sell off and uh, at least sell off towards the, the uh, middle Bollinger Band or the previous swing high around 38,000. 800, 900 mark, or even previous swing high around 38,600 mark. Our USD Japanese Yen is progressing well. So this was a trade idea from last week that we have posted. And um, secondary objective is at 158. We can see that there is a, some reaction to the downside this morning. We will see also how the CPN retail sales will affect USD Japanese Yen. We had a quite like a consecutive number of days that market closed near the high and up. So we didn't have still a even a one day reaction. And now on the hourly it seems like market is breaking. This to the downside. So structurally, there might be a, some kind of correction before any further upside movement. Because we can see on the hourly that we are changing a little bit structure here. So we need this structure to come back to the upside environment and near the upper Bollinger Bands or so. So so far, sellers, at least so far this morning, sellers are in control and we are, we are experiencing the downside correction at this point. We still have a middle of Bollinger Band in the previous swing low, like support 155.50 area. So we will see maybe market can trade lower and then find some buyers around the news and then still trade higher at the end of the day. But we need to watch for confirmation the early time frame. The pound dollar, we, we see that there is a, quite a big contraction. The Bollinger Bands, you can see that they are contracting. Uh, still pin bar high at 1.2635. Now market is testing this upper Bollinger Band at 1.600 mark. Uh, nothing spectacular on the stochastic. There is a, some fresh bull cross on the fast line. On the stochastic, um, slow line is pretty flat. So I would like to see anything meaningful to the upside, the break and hold above this pin bar high can be a good sign for the higher prices towards 1.2710. From another side, if market can find the sellers, there will be potential for the retest of the support around 1.2450 mark. Euro dollar is trading higher. So we can see that this slow line is still sloping to the upside. And market is actually taking this pin bar high. So the next resistance level on the daily time frame is this area here. So 1.0. I'll say um, 800, 865 mark, 1.0875. So this area here, we can see that buyers are in control. And that market was trading higher. Here, there was a break of the Bollinger Band, just a rejection, hold above. So, so far, buyers are in control and... Uh, we have the next pivot level at 1.0875. In case of the sell-off, of course, we have a support around 1.0760 and pin bar low at 1.0724. Short term, there is an upside cycle on the euro dollar. Now, our dollar index is, as we can see here, is trading lower. So we can see that pin bar low is still at 104.50. I think that's a critical pivot point. If 14450 can hold and we we can still see the upside movement especially if market can retake this middle Bollinger band and let's say 10560 market trade around this level and trade above there will be a chance for retest of 10650 mark but if the market can clear the lower this uh, pin bar low at 10450 trade below there will be a chance for potential sell off towards 104 or even 100 free mark so far, slow line is sloping to the downside, fast line sloping to the downside. So we have a short-term downside environment. Same thing with 
early there was a attempt from buyers but immediate rejection on the news we'll see how today's events will affect the dollar index it will be quite a volatile because of the cpi and retail sales in us bitcoin is still in the heavy consolidation um, there is nothing too much going on on this one in the last uh, we'll say 10 days or so we have a resistance, short-term resistance at 63,370 mark. Uh, we have an upper Bollinger Band and pin bar high at 65,330. And we have a Bollinger Band, lower Bollinger Band at 59,000 and a pin bar low area around uh, 56,900 mark. So, so far, we're just in this consolidation and we will need some kind of catalyst for the market to get away from this uh, heavy consolidation. But short-term environment in the last i will say 20 plus days is still to the downside since lower highs and lower lows now we have a gold market so here we can see that we still have a quite a big gap between upper between the fast and slow line on the stochastic oscillator we have a upper bollinger band at 2373 and uh bar high 2000, uh, 2378 and then we have the level here this major pin bar high at uh, 2430 mark so far i will still consider this like a consolidation uh, intraday buyers are in control there was a flip and the buyers took control at this point so intraday buyers are in control but in the daily time frame we're pretty much in the bigger consolidation and still around the upper ball in Japan and still there is this quite a significant gap between uh, fast and slow line so we will see anything meaningful would like really to see the break of upper ball in Japan to start with and then of course if Mark can clear this uh, pin bar high that will be a good confirmation if not and if that in today's CP, uh, CPI and retail sales we see sell off then we will have a chance for a drop towards a lower ball in japan towards 2290 mark or 2275 and aluminium is also in the consolidation with resistance at 2585 and support around 2509 so i can see that fast line is correcting at this point slow line is still sloping to the downside so I would like to see the breakout of this consolidation in order to confirm a third directional, bigger directional move. Break below 2509 can be a good sign for a drop towards 2350. From another side, if Mark can break 2585, there'll be a chance for a retest this upper ball in Japan around 2643. So that will be all for this uh, FX Centrum daily market analysis. Uh, if you didn't visit our website, uh, can do that so fxcentrum.com and you can explore we have a F fxc tv uh, you can also watch and register you just need to put your name last name country phone and email and just you will be able then to watch our webinar which is um, very informative and you can learn a lot about our company and uh, the benefits that you will have start with us so here uh, we have a promotion so you can see the 100 percent deposit bonus this is a very big boost for your account and you can open an account in literally a couple of minutes and uh, you will be able to to use our software fx Centrum, our fx Centrum platform and charting software so um, don't waste your time and uh, investigate and uh, explore our website and uh, join join our our team that will be all for this FX Central Daily Market analysis. Um, have a good trading day and speak to you.